All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're, yeah, what's up, Frank? <laughs> Today we're replacing these two, you know, 15 or 20 year old trains, and we're gonna be installing new Bosch 18.5 series variable speed compressors, four speed blowers. And um, just wanted to bring you guys along. You know, Frank is working on that one. I'm gonna be working on this one. So let's go ahead and get to it. There's additional duct work that needs to be done in this setup. We're upsizing the returns and we are adding a couple vents in hot areas of the house to you know have it a little bit more comfortable. So, you know, replacing the unit alone. In today's day, I rarely see a just simple, just completely replace, put a new one in. I rarely see people actually have, you know, a nice and comfortable home by just simply doing that. It is very important that when you're choosing, and or if you're the homeowner and you're choosing a contractor that you, that they ask you all the right questions, because I mean, you may be stuck with this AC. Well, you are gonna be stuck with this AC for the next, you know, uh, 15 years or so. And you need to be happy with what you picked and you know, the contractor doing the work. So in this scenario, and like many other scenarios, we're upgrading the return, we're upgrading the supply, and we're installing vents in problem areas. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so here is the finished product, and we have the new elbow, we have the new 3-ton Bosch, it's uh, I believe 18.5 sear, new stand, new electrical, you know, we ran new thermostat wire. In there, I have in other videos shown the steps of upsizing the return, which we did do in this scenario. We upsized to 18 inch because if you know something about the Bosch, is that they run slightly higher static than other units. 16 would be okay for a train, three ton, day and night, three ton, Goodman, three ton, but with a Bosch, it is not. They require more airflow. So that's why we needed the 18 inch. On the supply side, I ended up dropping a box, a square plenum down so that we could connect into it because there was an additional vent that we ran into that back corner of the house to which was a hot area so we needed a box and I uh, again I've had this similar scenario in I've done this many many times very common for me at least or for us as a company to do these upgrades to make sure that people are happy so we have the new disconnect we have the new surge protector, absolutely necessary with the Bosch, all the electronics it has inside. You do not want to have something this high tech installed without a surge protector in this beautiful but unpredictable Arizona weather. And uh, pretty much that's it. We you know we ran new thermostat wire, you know, brand new thermostat wire all the way. Got a new drain line. I don't like to reuse the old um, drain holes or the old drain line that goes inside of the home because tends to be brittle so we just went exposed down there you see a little tar I like to use a little wet patch on the old stand holes to make sure that water doesn't get in just additional safety and now if we go to this other one over here same thing also a three ton also the same ductwork upgrades, new drain line, new stand, surge protector, disconnect box, electrical, new unit, new elbow, new square plenum drop, new 18 inch return. And believe it or not, even at 18, it is running at 0.5 static. Uh, this, actually, sorry, this one was 0.5 and I think that one was 0.4. So even at, you know, 18, you're right there. You know, you're right there at 0.5, 0.4. And that's kind of where we needed to be. And I mean total, obviously. I don't mean just the return sign. I mean total. So, 
and that's what you kind of need for this type of unit uh, and again I did the same thing because curiously enough we ended up running a vent over to that corner of the house that was also hot and it's been running for a few hours now I think a couple hours at least and now things are much better and this is just the type of things you need to do when you're talking to the homeowner they're explaining to you that you know they have hot areas of the house well you need to do whatever is necessary to correct those issues because they are going to be using this AC for the next you know 10 15 years and you know the last thing you you want as a contractor and even as a homeowner is to spend you know a big chunk of change putting these high tech units in and um, not being happy with them and you know I actually beat out another contractor who was significantly less than me but was not willing to do everything that we just talked about so all right well as always y'all thanks for watching like subscribe comment and we will see you on the next one peace